it's Manda here. Today I am doing a layout for sketch abilities using the new sketch 144 which is up on their blog. I'll put the link below so you can head on over and play along. So today I have a little bit of a longer video for you uh, so please bear with me. So I started off with some Faber-Castell gelatos and I've just scribbled them onto my white background and I'm using a blending tool to um, smooth them out. I'm trying to give kind of like a watercolour effect I guess um, to the background but I actually end up covering most of this up sadly so um, I probably spent a little bit longer on it than I needed to. In the end I don't think you see any of the pink at all. Once I've got that done I've mounted my white background on another piece of paper and then I'm going to start my layering. Now I mess around with this just a little bit. I um, have pretty much stayed true to the sketch today. I have stayed true. I know I always say oh, I'll try to. I did actually stay true to it today so I'm a little bit proud about that. So I just started off with some strips of paper. I'm working with the Wonder Collection from Crate Paper and I'm just um, getting those layers down and my photos are going to go on top of it. But again you probably don't end up seeing much of it and I do change it around a bit. I'm just using some one of my knockout punches, sorry I should have edited this bit out, uh, just to give um, an edge to my 6x6 six six paper there. And I'm going to do it to two edges because I actually for this collection only bought two sheets I think of the 12x12 12 12 paper and then just bought the 6x6 six six paper pad uh, because I generally, well I say generally, I'm not sure. I usually work with a white background and then um, you know add layers of paper on top and you know with careful embellishment and photo placement you can generally cover up the um, joins on your six by six um, papers if you put them together if that makes sense so as I said I'm turning it round moving it about a bit and I'm moving it right across now I'm still not quite happy with how it looks I'm kind of looking for other papers that to um, layer on there and I end up going with this little kind of diamond pattern and again using two pieces of six by six to run down the paper and my photos are going to cover this so it's not going to be a problem at all. So once I've got them down I'm going to add my photos on top. So um, Oh, I'm a bit ahead of myself, sorry. So I'm just going to put the um, bordered punch down there. Now I went for the triangle border punch because I thought um, it was a little bit kind of, well, <laughs> excuse the pun, edgier than the scallop one. And I, I just, I don't know, I was drawn to it today for that. So I used that one there. And now I'm putting my photos down on top. So these are my three keys. Well, Q actually belongs to my parents, but she lives with me, so that's fine. Um, and the top one is Harry, and then Winston, who you see in most of my layouts, and the bottom one is QCAT, and it's just the letter Q, and I don't know why. I, I actually named her, and she just looked like Q, and that's just why she's QCAT. Everyone goes, oh, is she named after something, or is it short for something? Nope, it's just Q. You see I have a little um, acetate tag there and it has a little meow and a cat on it. I That came off the 12 by 12 um, acetate sheet and it's a cut apart and also that gold tag there came off it. Um, the little meow cat becomes a saga which you'll see as we go along uh, because I really want to get it on there but I don't end up doing it. So I went through and found these little pieces in the um, little cut apart in the 6x6 and I was going to just punch out that bird and pop on there but then I decided I'd rather use my epiphany craft tool. So I'm just going to use, that's the um, number 25 tool and just using clear round bubble cap on that and it takes a bit to kind of get it exactly where I want it because I cut it too small. If I had to cut it the right size it would have been been a dream to put it in there but of course I had to cut everything too small straight up because I had a different plan. Um, so that kind of I love these um, I make it look kind of like flare it's epoxy bubble cap um, you'll see so I've made that to go on there and then here comes the other little piece of the cat with the meow and this is the one that turns into the saga you'll see it keeps making appearance till it gets screwed up and thrown away. So the only um, punch the edge of that because I wanted kind of like a notebook feel and it was going to go there. Um, it'll be moved again. Now 
I need to um, put something under that gold tag. I wanted to put some um, paper under there. So I'm looking through and layering it on top of each one to see which one it works best with. I end up using one of the papers I've already used, which would have been, <laughs> um, I should have just gone to that straight away. Now because of, um, I'm gonna tuck it under the end, I'm just using a normal tape where I'm gonna cook to um, stick it down. And then um, that holds it fine. I was going to use my tiny attacher, but that didn't work. Um, I broke my, I, I've actually broken two tiny attachers and I don't know how I'm breaking them and it's very, very frustrating. So that was one of the broken ones. I do have a third tiny attacher, which does work, but I didn't know where it was. Um, yeah. So that's not really a great review for the tiny attacher, but they are really, really good. And I seem to be the only person I know who manages to break them. But I have a dread. I broke my cuddle bug as well. I tend to force things until they break, which is, I don't know. There's something wrong with me. Um, <laughs> so here I am with the meow cat. And then I decide that I want to stick it on the other side. So I punch down the other side, but it just doesn't end up looking right. The one, two, three is off the sticker sheet. And I've just gone through the ephemera pack and picked out a few different pieces that I think will work. And um, I tend to, like, I like this little um, piece here and I want to use it um, that says Wild at Heart, but it's too big to go where I want. So I cut it down into a little um, kind of um, pennant. Is that right? Pennant? Yeah. So I tend to, you know, cut apart my um, embellishments to make them fit, which is fine. You know, you don't just keep an open mind with your embellishments because they can always be altered to work perfectly. So still just looking through to add more embellishments. And I love this little cat sticker and I, um, I'm going to pop him on there eventually. Actually, no, I think I use a puffy one. We'll see. Uh, and... I needed some more, it was going to just be like that, but then I had that big gap between the Stay Curious and the tag, so I decided to um, add some more paper there, and I'm going to put my title on top of that. So as you can see, the original pink uh, that I did with the gelatos is now completely covered up. So I probably spent a little bit more time on that than uh, I thought I would. Um, so I guess... Yeah, I'm not good at planning. I just kind of go with the flow. So um, it doesn't matter. No problem. You can still see part of it. And, you know, it was fun to get messy. <laughs> so uh, just adding some twine to the Stay Curious tag. And then I'm going to start thinking about um, a few other embellishments to go on there and also my title. So I was just going to pop the epoxy um, dot down there like that. But... It looks kind of stuck down the bottom, so I'm end up. I'm going to layer that as well. This is where you see I'm doing the finer tweaks to my embellishing, and I keep changing my mind. Again, playing with the little cat. Oh, decided to keep it there for now, and I'm going to look at another one of the cut apart sheets in the six by six paper pad, and I'm going to cut a little tag out of there. And I kind of like that about the six by six paper pads with the cut aparts. A lot of people think they're too small um, because they're designed originally for a 12 by 12 sheet. But I like that you can make little embellishments out of it. So again, I'm playing with the meow cat. <laughs> I thought if I put it on a tag, it'll look better. It didn't. I think this might be where I actually break up with it and end up, I don't know. I don't know. I'm obsessed. See, I'm determined to get it on there and it's just getting smaller and smaller. Like it's so small now, I can't even really use it. I have to admit defeat at some point, which I think, I think I'm holding on a little bit longer here. I also got the puffy stickers and I love these so much. I love puffy stickers. So I just used that little cat there and I think that could be, no, still, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm about to throw it out and it seems to be just going on. It's just re-watching it is worse the second time um, than it was to actually deal with it. So I wanted to put something extra down the bottom and I started off with a sticker. Um, but this tag is going to be it. So the tag is on there now. I've committed to it. But I wanted to do something a little extra to it. And I had this little gold um, pennant on there. So sorry, a little gold pennant on the sticker sheet. So I'm layering that on top. 
you cannot see anything I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm out of shot. So I put the little gold pendant on top and then put the um, epoxy dot on top of that. So I think I have finally committed to getting rid of the cat sticker. I don't think you will see it again. So I put another tag up there and then I'm going to start on my title and my title is The Three Amigos because they are friends. Well, I say they're friends. Harry's he's a bit old and grumpy. Harry up the top there is 15. Um, so he, he's, um, you know, he's a man of his own routines. He, the younger ones are a bit, bit too much for him sometimes. Um, yeah, <laughs> but they're all darlings and I love them. So I was thinking about my title and I didn't know what thickers I was going to use. I'm going to try. I wanted to use the big ones, but they were too big. So I've left that for a moment and gone back to the cut apart sheet and finally found some little more, um, a few more birds, which kind of ties it in with the bottom. And I think I'm really happy with that. So in the end, the meow cat, he died. Um, <laughs> but I actually really, really like the way I ended up with the two lots of birds on them. So I go through, I have some old October afternoon stickers. I love these mini market stickers. They are like my favorite stickers ever and they're still going strong. I think I've had these since I started scrapping like six or seven years ago and there's still heaps of letters on them. But then I did have lots and lots of sheets. So just um, managed to pull up the edge of my three there by accident, but I stuck it back down with the glue pen. And then I'm going to use these Maggie Holmes stickers to uh, finish off my title. And um, they're really foamy and they kind of move. Well, I mean, they are foam and they move. So they're a bit difficult to get quite straight. Um, I did have it down the bottom there, as you can see, and it just looked so wrong. So I've popped it back up the top. And the added benefit is this is that the sticker sheet, um, the one, two, three stickers at the bottom hold the tag down at the bottom because remember it was only glued at one end under the photo and the alphabet is holding it um, glued at the top. So it's well and truly stuck down now. And then finally, I just grab another piece out of the ephemera pack and um, pop it down there. So I will end up finishing this layout with some splatters because I thought the black alphabet was just a little bit too much there, um, like just kind of sticking out really obviously black. So I add some black splatters at the end. So thank you so much for watching and I'm going to finish up with some close-ups and I will be back again soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.